good morning uh, welcome all and thanks for joining this session i'll try to make sure that you have some uh, take away at least from this session okay and um, i know sundays are really tough people and uh, involving yourself to improve yourself is the biggest challenge and uh, you have to give yourself a applause because you are here and taking this time out and um, that i i think it will add some value and maybe in the future you can take this points and start inculcating those okay um so to, today's topic is uh, life transformation um so what we want to achieve something in 2023 and maybe in future so first let's look at 2023 for now so um maybe uh, initially i thought i'll make this as a um, q and a and interactive sessions but uh, because i have 40 minutes with the uh, zoom call i would try to take it and maybe we can discuss at the end of the uh, session uh, about the q and a's so uh, maybe what everyone does or most of the people do, do is that whenever a new calendar year comes sort of go ahead and create your own goals so some of the examples might be few of them might be aiming for higher education few might try to switch a job few are looking for a promotion in their job and when it comes to personal things some of them wants to reduce some weight let's say or uh, 10 kg of your weight 15 kg of your weight whatever you define you define a goal accordingly right but what happens what what is the difference between a goal and an outcome yeah please any one of you if you want to unmute and speak anyone okay a uh, goal is sort of a path or a way which guides us where we want to be and outcome is what we achieve out of that right so if you look at the previous slide none of these are actually goals these are all outcomes what you are doing you want to achieve you want to go to a higher education okay that is an outcome so you you get a you are looking for a college or a particular set of uh, let's say course which you want to do you want to switch a job you have to switch a job that's that's your outcome so okay and you are looking for a promotion it is also an outcome it's not a goal it's not a path which you are traversing right and reducing 10 kg you are not telling that you are, it's a healthy lifestyle what you want to follow but you are trying to negate some weight from your body right so that is what the difference between goal and an outcome so if you have if you are looking at an outcome here if you see there is a fixed point which you are trying to traverse and achieve that in that case your focus is only on the outcome and not on the path or the learning which you want to carry along the path but if you focus on the goal you have multiple options okay let's take an example of um switching a job itself right so um because i think most of the people who have joined here are from the corporate so just for an example okay um i'm not telling that you want to switch a job outside maybe switching within the organization as well or maybe you want to move up the ladder all all those things permutations and combinations right? so if if you are just focusing on okay i i want to switch a job from this position to next position or i want a promotion from this position to next position then you will be concentrating only on that position okay i i want to achieve that okay the methods could be wrong the ideology could be wrong or it might so happen that you are deeply involved and so much attached to the outcome you are not enjoying the path which you are traversing let's say your appraisal is there after 6 months uh, i request all of you to please go on mute if you are not speaking 
so you will not enjoy the path and you will forget the most important task, which is learning if you one second please so if if you learn on the way what it will give you a multi dimensional view if not this you have an opportunity for something else you have opened the door in all directions whereas if you focus only on the goal you have only one path and if by chance you are not able to achieve that go uh, outcome you always feel sad or bad about that and you might uh, the self motivation part might decrease which might impact the future but if you focus on the goal the learning path then there are more opportunities for you if not something else you will you will not be like okay i didn't get this switch or or a promotion or let's say you are going for a certification you didn't complete that but you will be motivated enough that i have got all the knowledge maybe something something was missed here you re retrospect introspect yourself and go ahead so that is the main difference between a goal and an outcome any questions here okay take it as a no and proceed so after after all this what is the important happiness mantra which we want to see right focus on the goal and not on the outcome just concentrate the on the path which you are learning so maybe any time you are stuck in a situation that you feel okay this scenario is not working out for me uh, the way i anticipated just focus was this a goal or was this a outcome right so please the main take away of this session is that you always focus on what is the goal and what is the outcome some people might argue okay for me outcome is more important than the goal fine agree but what if you are not able to achieve that right so now i i want you to do this exercise if you have pen and paper next to you or maybe you are connected through the phone you are connected through the laptop uh, you just go ahead and define maybe couple of goals for you what you want to achieve for 2023 i'll i'll just give you one minute of time here think and probably you can write it down or you feel that you want more time to come up with your goals for 2023 just write it down the steps what we were discussing in this session maybe you can go and do this exercise later as well but it it would be much beneficial if you are going at now itself okay uh, so the one minute is done next thing is did you define multiple goals for you for 2023 if it's yes then the most important thing have you prioritized it right let's say you have personal goals you might have professional goals you might have uh, the society goals as well couple of you might be involved in csr activities or something like that but which is the first goal which you want to achieve in 2023 please have it prioritized maybe you feel that the first goal you can sort of achieve it within 2 3 months the next goal maybe might take 4 5 months or and the third goal might be only one month 
but prioritization wise if your um, goal which you are speaking which might take 5 months is the first one you have to go for it even though you see that you can achieve a goal within 2 months and uh, and 1 month but prioritization wise you have to see what which goal has a major impact on you and your life so you have to prioritize that way and once you are done with your goal setting next the process starts you have to validate your goal and check this does this goal really add any value to me or not just for the sake of doing something or okay people are everyone is setting some goal let me go let's set it and and keep it aside or i'll set it and start working but after some time it will not add any value and you feel that okay i had spent a time on something which i am neither happy nor i have spent a quality time for it so first and foremost thing is you have to validate if your goal is something which you really want to achieve once you have that have a short term and long term goals okay uh, so let if you take the examples of previous goals right 5 months 2 months and 1 month you might tell look okay, a 5 months goal i can put it a short term long term uh, and and long term maybe 5 months what if one month goal is there and how should i uh, sort of make it into short terms weekly right so the bifurcation mechanism you have to sort of have the bigger picture in the mind and spread it across into short term goals where you have a fixed milestone or what you feel that fixed goal points okay at the uh, end of each uh, short term goal and then cascade it to a bigger one if if you feel that okay one of the short term goals is not met as per your expectation then maybe you can readjust towards the long term goal and goals what i feel is that they are they are not time bound most of the time if you feel that okay i have to complete this goal by 5 months it might take shorter time it may take longer time based on your involvement as well and also the situation and scenarios in and around you so you have to be flexible about the timelines what you are thinking about these goals and once you do this this is the most powerful concept which can get you any distance visualization you set a goal you sit close your eyes and start visualizing you have already reached that point where you want to be with uh, when you have associated with this goal right so in the previous example um, healthy lifestyle so you start visualize your body is light you are more energized you can uh, let's say go and enjoy the nature so you, if you start visualizing all those automatically 20 to 30% of goal achievement is done because if mind is the biggest factor so one of the important topic is you have to check whether your mind is a four or 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 a friend so if you give all the things uh, for the mind to decide then it might become a four but if you start analyzing thinking and ask the right questions to your mind okay can you guide me in the right path then it becomes your friend so visualization and mind plays a very important role in achieving any goal then start preparing okay so anywhere we know that without preparation we can't do anything so the foundation part is the key here you start acquiring the knowledge or looking around for what exactly you are going to achieve okay i'm i'm mostly trying to take the health goal for complete of this okay you want to go and uh, let's say you have to prepare in the sense um, you have to analyze what food habits to take inculcate and then uh, what are the uh, sleeping patterns which you might need to change what if you want to include meditation 
if so what kind of meditation will sync with your body so all those uh, preparation steps you have to do and after that once you prepare you you have to look at the challenges what you can uh, you might get on on along the path here the biggest challenge might be getting up early in the morning you might not feel like okay getting up from the bed or you have a habit of sleeping very late and that is actually hindering you so please you have to prepare a list of what challenges you might face and how do you want to overcome those challenges as part of this process as well so when 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 we look at all these right one important aspect which we never look at is reading books okay reading really helps you to uh, get newer and newer information and thereby you can uh, think and actually uh, synchronize yourself so which was the recent book which you read any any one of you could you please unmute yourself and if you can let me know i want it to be interactive at least in the couple of parts so any one of you please or should i call the names yeah maybe vijay if you want to just go ahead please Yeah, okay. this is um, I actually started to read an audio book. Uh, it's called Hyper Focus. Okay, sorry, sorry. Could you please repeat? Uh, it's called a Hyper Focus. Hyper Focus. Okay, okay, cool. So, yeah, it's an interesting book. Like uh, it tells about how you can avoid distraction and focus on something you want to do. <laughs> okay, so that was the reason. Yeah, because I didn't have time to read, I uh, you know opted to go for an audio book uh, so I can listen. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's very good thing. So, how many books do you normally read per year on an average? Uh, actually, I read less books than I buy. <laughs> I okay. uh, tend to buy one or two books every year, but uh, um, I try to like uh, read. Uh, uh, I mean, at least one I do. Okay, at least uh, one. Uh, okay. I I prefer like uh, self improvement or uh, um, uh, you know uh, uh, guides. I don't read uh, novels as such. Mm, yeah. Okay. No, I am. I am just asking in general books because. each person's perspective and their ideologies are different right so uh, that is up to you and how you want to see each book has a take away okay one term or the other way so yeah you normally go and go it or uh, what would be the time spent normally on reading you know busy life uh, this thing means uh, maybe per, per maybe day per, per uh, i know maybe you are not able to catch it up on a daily basis Uh, maybe monthly Correct. or quarterly anything is fine yes yes so uh, monthly maybe i spend around 4 uh, to 5 hours uh, okay. i think yeah hmm. yeah not uh, more than that uh, but i to... listen to some podcasts and uh, audio books uh, so yeah. yeah that i uh, try to get some time uh, so weekly maybe an hour uh, uh, in that one yeah okay great so i think uh, Three to four hours per month is uh, substantially a good amount of time. Looking at the lifestyle, I think all of us are carrying here. Okay. So uh, I, I just wanted uh, to let all of you know that recently I have authored a book, uh, "Becoming Your Dream Leader." Um, so uh, Vijay, I think uh, self improvement one of the key aspects which you mentioned. Uh, the whole concept of this book is uh, along the similar lines. so this book is um, inspired by bhagavad gita um, so went into multiple versions of bhagavad gita how it's written what all the key aspects then sort of took all the important aspects and tried to pitch in here yeah it it mainly enhances your leadership skills here and you sort of become a magnetic person where people start uh, liking you or maybe they want to interact with you and so that is the 
uh, whole concept after you start reading and start practicing the exercises which are there on this particular book so this is my contact number and um, this is my linkedin um, i'll i'll just put it across in the chat as well after this so this is uh, the book so um, just wanted to give a small intro about the book and then now we will continue with uh, our discussion here okay so uh, we have set the goals now uh, how do we plan ahead first thing is focus one thing at a time okay you might have multiple goals which you have set in that goal also you might okay list down okay these are the couple of things which i have to do uh, what all what should this be what should maybe the other uh, part be but if you start focusing two things okay uh, healthy goals right so you might want to see that uh, at the same time you are taking uh, let's say i'm not not into this but uh, i i am not preferring to go for a medicine but uh, some people do so i i just want to take that example here if you are going both for ayurvedic and allopathic at the same time maybe they contradict right so you have to focus one thing and maybe you uh, uh, as the preparation part you have to check which one would suit you more and then next one is uh, thinking out of out of the box it's it's general thing right okay people tell think out of the box but how do you make that happen again preparation you if you just okay tell think that okay i'll think out of the box i'll do this but again that is preparation right imagination the visualization part which uh, we discussed earlier would help you thinking out of the box and then introspect at each and every point that were you able to um, are you in the path is there is there a more challenges which you are observing than those which you have already anticipated if so how you want to go ahead and plan for the future challenges which might come in your way and finally acquire the right knowledge yeah as we discussed maybe through books uh, which i mentioned podcasts and um, other things so uh, getting into the uh, um, knowing the right knowledge is very key here and so that you have to acquire that it it doesn't come all of a sudden it happens over a period of time and that is where you have to spend your time and effort which is very important and you might tell that okay i all uh, did all this but still there is not much of an improvement uh, which is going around let's say maybe you want to improve your personal life but still you see that okay uh, There's so many chaotic situations are happening. I'm I'm not having peace of mind, and maybe I want to improve in couple of areas, but I don't know what what really has to be. So these are come up some of the things. First and foremost thing is empathy. Okay, we all all of us uh, are actually living in a society or working along with our coworkers, um, regularly interacting with others. so key aspect is empathy where you show to them and um, try to see from their perspective how a situation feel and be more empathetic towards the person next one any guess about this one what could be this any one of you looking at the picture at least earning respect people normally uh, people want to respect you the way how you sort of carry yourself around it is respect doesn't come free free of cost you have to earn it no one would give it straight away to you how you carry is very important here this one you yeah, may be interactive we can go ahead now please looking for answers okay approachable 
if if you don't have an open door policy people would stay away from you and they will be like okay i don't want to reach that person he he doesn't respond to me or he doesn't uh, like my ideas right so if you are more approachable you have more people who are connecting to you let's say this is one of the important thing right which we have heard if i have one idea if the next person has one more idea and we share each of our ideas then it becomes two but if i keep it to myself it's always one idea so if you are approachable people will approach to you with their ideas visions and maybe that would really help both of you building together the next set of things what you are looking for okay this one yeah please i'm i'm looking for people appreciate smaller things so even if they are smaller things appreciate those something like that. i don't know yeah rewarding appreciating and rewarding are synonym so you reward people when uh, something is really good it it might be big it might be small um you might um, reward them with uh, let's say uh, a small uh, appreciation in terms of maybe you just speak to them and tell them okay i i really like the way you did this or uh, this was one of the best thing maybe you are in a position where you can reward them okay uh, normally if you have a uh, parent and a child relationship you normally reward them with nowadays with chocolates and stuffs like that right because uh, so that is a kind of thing where you can manage the rewarding and what about this no contentment or emphasis growth so this is the growth which you are looking at and um, so uh, if someone really wants to grow themselves you you can sort of uh, provide an environment or a stage where they can thrive hard for uh, their uh, growth and you support them being the soil so here the soil is very important it's it's like most of the time we look at the plant but we uh, neglect the soil part actually the enablers are the people who have supported them all the way along and that really uh, has boosted their morale and the position which they are now is mainly because of this so yeah i thought maybe we'll interact more and stuff like that yeah this is a, like a small presentation which i wanted to uh, open for all the question and answers now or anything which if you want to go back to any of your after slides ago and maybe we want to discuss more in detail about that We have ten more minutes of time. Or if if you want to uh, go ahead and maybe set a goal in next two minutes, and uh, I'll, I'll just go back to that. I'm resharing. yeah if you want to go ahead and uh, do a goal setting for yourself for next two minutes and we can we can discuss on this yes no looking for some answers here anyone if not i i i will just take it as no okay i'll just take this as no uh, i'll stop the recording now